local level finance uh, uh, strength lies in the fact that they respond uh, to the felt needs of people who are impacted by climate change. Uh, that's it's the people who knows what uh, is uh, most important, what is urgent, and by allowing them to make decision over these resources, how they are used, it enables them to respond to those needs in a more clear and effective way. It works best when you have communities organized, uh, able to discuss and agree among themselves what is it or what we move with first. Simply prioritization, enabling the community to prioritize among themselves, but also having the authorities, the local level government, supporting them to do that. In our case, we see the value in technical officers from the county government uh, supporting what is coming from the ground, from the communities, in terms of adding more information that they know, having, adding the technical expertise to strengthen these uh, priorities coming from the local level. That way, when you have the two parties working together, there is uh, the harnessing of knowledge and expertise from the different groups, and also there's the element of sustainability because you could knit well among the different actors. For me, what will happen next is that, yes, we need to track how the little resource that has gone down is being used and how to strengthen the systems put in place. So the focus should be keeping track of what we spent, but also looking at ways in which we can upscale or pick up and run with the good examples that are coming out. It's also good to learn from the few challenges or failures that may be experienced. So for me, it's about taking stock of what has happened and upscaling this where possible, especially by investing in institutions and systems to ensure that those that are being taken to scale can be replicated widely.